Hey everybody, it's Mike at Angler Sports Center here with another how-to video. Today we're going to show you how to rig a daisy chain. Uh, for spring rockfish trolling, it's the, this is a really popular lure. Um, it's a rig that creates the same effect as an umbrella, which is a school of bait fish, but without the drag. So an umbrella, we have four arms, and we've got baits coming off of each of those. Going against the water with paddle tails, that rig creates a lot of drag, which pulls on your rod and then also requires a lot of inline weight to get deep. So the alternative to it with the daisy chain is a bunch of teasers that are in line with your main rig that are not going to have the same drag and that you'll be able to get deeper with less weight. Um, so in the video today we're just going to show you how to start from finish, take your leader line, rig it up and get the teasers on there. Um, first thing we start with is either 80 or 100 pound test line if we're going to crimp. Um, you pretty much have to do this with crimps. If you don't have crimps, it's pretty much going to be impossible to do for the most part. Um, your length of daisy chain can be anywhere from like six to eight feet. So I'm just going to take out roughly six feet of line here and cut it off. Maybe. So the first thing we're going to do on the daisy chain rig is attach our actual hooked bait. We're going to work from the back of the bait to the front. So. I'm going to do here, just hold that down, put my crimp on the line, and through the lure and back into the crimp. So the only key to crimping these is you want to be cradling the crimp parallel into the actual crimper. So if you really look in there, that is um, completely sideways to the line. If you if you try and crimp it the other way, you're just gonna smash your actual leader line here and it's not gonna hold. So I usually give it a firm squeeze on the front end and the back end of the crimp. The crimp is usually um, longer than the width of your crimper. So as long as you get the front and the back, you're usually good there. So now that I have my main line here, we're going to run some crimps down this line, and they are going to be our placeholders for the daisy chain. So, so we're going to run our crimps down to the desired spot of our teasers for our daisy chain. So usually these will be roughly 12, maybe 18 inches off of the lure. So I'm going to say this is about 12 inches. I'm going to do the same sort of crimping that we showed you on the rigged bait, except for it's just going to be much lighter. Really all we need this crimp to do is hold on the main line. Since it's not doubled over, you don't have to really do this any specific way. It's just whatever way will hold it on the line without slipping. But again, not too tight that you're actually bending or breaking the line. So on this one, we're going to use some of these holographic teasers. So you can use a holographic teaser or you can just use like a parachute style teaser as well. So we got our first teaser on there. Just like that. So to measure for the next one, I'm literally just taking my line, doubling it over to the lower using my finger as a placeholder here, and then I'm just gonna run another crimp down. <coughs> now that we're having a finger as a placeholder, smash that crimp on there. Okay, 
So we got all our teasers on here. And the last part of it will just be to crimp on a snap swivel, preferably a coast lock or anything that's not really not an interlocking swivel. Now this rig here, I left maybe three feet after the teasers, just as leader line that can be handled when you get the fish closer to the bait. You can certainly make this shorter and you can certainly add more teasers as you go if you just want a bigger display. So this is basically how to rig the daisy chain.